Morning, friends. Welcome to the van. I've, uh, yeah, I'm trying to break down what was going on in my mind the last few days. Um, I had a dream night before last, and uh, the dream is about gravity and air, and I couldn't quite make out. Um, it didn't make any sense to me why gravity and why air. So it, it kept reminding me of, of a post-mortem that I did many years ago, and um, it was a young girl and um, a baby, and I had to take out her lungs, so I had to dissect and cut her open and then take out her lungs and put these little lungs, shown they're tiny like this, um, into a bath of water to see whether it would float or sink. And um, the, I don't know if the law still works this way, but it was to see whether the child had breathed the breath of life or not. So whether it's uh, the charge against uh, the person who aborted the baby or killed the life, you know, if there was a life at all. So anyway, that's what it reminded me of. And, and it was quite a traumatic experience, so it sort of it's, it was vivid in my mind. The... Um, <sighs> What I was trying to put together was w why did that dream remind me of it? And, and gravity and air, if I take gravity, everything on Earth responds to gravity pretty much. I mean, if you take, um, if you throw a rock up, it falls down. If, if we jump, we fall down. Nothing can work with the gravity. Nothing can work without the resistance of gravity. Gravity is always there and it pulls you back down to Earth. And, um, but, uh, yeah. Air, on the other hand, has got, it doesn't uh, adhere to any of gravity's principles. So if gravity pulls air, it doesn't do nothing. Um, it is the only thing that I know of on Earth. Um, could be corrected, obviously. But uh, as far as I know, air is the only thing that doesn't uh, respond to gravity. And people can't explain what gravity is. They can give you what gravity's uh, um, attributes are, though. They can give you what the cause and effect of gravity is, but they can't tell you what gravity actually is. It's just an invisible force that's uh, that's pulling you down to this earth. And uh, air is the one thing that doesn't respond to that. So, and it may be in the, the lungs, what I was thinking of is if there was air in those lungs, those lungs would float. It wouldn't go down. Um, if there's no air in the lungs, those lungs float down to the bottom of the bath. So it gets pulled back down to earth. And much the same as us, as long as we've got air in our lungs, um, we, we've, got, we've got life in us and we're alive and we're not fully bound to this earth. And this earth is, the devil's in charge of this earth. This is his world. But we've got life inside of us. It's been breathed into us by the Lord. God, Yahweh. His name is not even, his name is the sound of breathing. There's air in your lungs. So, yeah, we don't know when that air is going to run out or when it's going to stop. But as long as there's air in your lungs, you're alive. Um, it's, uh, yeah. So if you, whoever you bump into today and you're talking to them, you're using that air in your lungs to talk, you, you must appreciate them. You never, you don't know if you're ever going to see them again. They might not have that air in their lungs tomorrow. So, yeah, what I'm saying is, um, what I think the dream and the experience is trying to tell me is that as long as you've got air in your lungs, you must appreciate those around you, appreciate your loved ones, appreciate your life, because tomorrow you might not have that air again. So, yeah, thank Yahweh, thank Yahweh for breathing, for the air in your lungs. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Take care. Enjoy Thursday.